Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to A Plague Tale Innocence. In the last episode, we heard a bunch of horses all kind of arriving. Mother got a little distressed, perhaps, so I, I don't think this is a good sign. And we've been tasked with taking care of our younger brother, Hugo. Now, Hugo is sickly. It definitely seems like he's been kept in isolation. I mean, Amicia said she didn't know how old her younger brother was. So clearly they don't have much of a bond. Hello? It's me, y your sister, Amicia. Hello. We we haven't seen each other much. Mummy will be back soon. Ooh, come on. Did he talk? No, Lord Nicholas. He killed two of our men. Where is he? I won't ask again. Where is your son? In good hands. <laughs> Touch the house. I'm so sorry, madam. I walked over your corpse. Just, just go, just go. Amicia. Quickly and quietly. Mother, I have to find mother. She'll, she'll know. Uh, will she? Will she? Oh my God, mm. Louise. You think it's funny making me run like that? Amicia. Oh God, Please. don't. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We need. We need to move. Don't look. Jesus. No. No. We have to keep going. Don't look, Hugo. Don't look. Speak up. Don't make me hurt you again. I have no idea. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for using you as distractions. Tell us what you know about your mistress's research. Just go. Just go. Yeah, that, that was a dead end. Come on. This way into the kitchen. Maybe we could grab a knife. I would like a weapon, please. Oh, no, no. Just flee. Just flee. Well, well, well. Where do you think you're going? Children. What is happening? We will be all right, do you hear me? Come on. Hugo, take your sister's hand. I'll go first, and you just have to follow me, all right? We have to cross the gardens. Amicia, hold your brother's hand and 
follow me in silence. All right? Yes. Yes. Can do. I notice if you leave him alone, he'll panic. Okay. Okay. They are everywhere. Trust me. Through the grass, they won't be able to see us. Wait. Mommy. Shh. Just into the long grass, where we will be safe. Just make sure we keep hold of Hugo's hand. I can do that. I can do that. Gardener knows the family well. Says he watched the kids grow up. Yes, the little one loves flowers. I used to take him some flowers. You can do better than that. Take it worked. Shh. like family to me. He'll get nothing out of me. Go to hell. Oh yeah. You first. Oh. Listen, have a little think, and I'll come back later. And you. I mean, don't thank you for your loyalty, but I'm so sorry. The bastards. Cowards. Oh. You have to get through. Amicia, help him. I'll carry you. No. All right. No All right. Given us his son. Up and over. Be careful getting down. Yes. But Robert the Ruin doesn't like the Inquisition. Even though we got the noble cause. Of peasants. How long can it take? Tell us everything. I caught that. They said they were the Inquisition. Okay. They'll see us. We have to get further away. If I can hit the helmets in the grates over there, your sling will give us away. I can throw it instead. Okay. Hold control. Okay. That noise. Right. I let's go. From over there. go. Quick sticks, quick sticks. Ow, oh, my head. Breathe, Hugo, like I showed you. What's wrong with him? His illness has awoken. We need to go faster. So, the boy? I don't... <laughs> I don't like the fact that you're using the word awoken. His illness has awoken. Okay, well... Good. At least he got the father. I hope. Let's go. Be right back. Be careful. You never know. Just go, just go and pray they don't turn around. Can't go, Mother. Maybe by throwing one of these pots. Really? The noise will attract him. We'll slip past behind his back. All right. Okay. So tap. Oh, it's a hold. And then. Listen, I know what you poor people are like. Always got a sneaky coin hidden Good. somewhere. Mm, over that. What was that noise? That's right. You go. Go and investigate. That's right. Oh, no, no, no. Stay calm. Hold my hand tight. And... Oh, it's locked from the other side. Oh, Mother, no. the hole in the wall. Yes, Hugo, I'm sorry. I know you're scared, but if you get through there, you can open the door for us. You're the only one who can do it. Behind there. Just concentrate on the door. You're a brave boy. You prove it to me every day. Amicia is going to let go of your hand. Then you can quickly go through. All right? All right. I I do like how Beatrice talks to him. I like how she talks to him. She becomes so soft. Yeah, come on, Bobby. Bobby, you need to be brave. Be strong. Someone's coming. Okay. Well done. There are people. Hold my hand. Come on. Good job, Hugo. Good job. Mercy! Mercy! Wait. Ah! Oh, bloody hell. Screaming for mercy won't make you run faster, my lad. And now they've got lanterns. <laughs> now they've got lanterns. Oh. Come on. Okay. Okay. Just go quick, quick. There we are. Follow me. And up and over. No, 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 no. No, Bobby. You go. You go. Wait, I'm coming. Amicia, you have to help him next time. Sorry. No. I, my head. What is wrong with him? An attack. Listen to my voice, Hugo. You know how this goes. My eyes. My head. Listen to me. Breathe. Think of the cloud that you breathe in. Blow out. In. 
Amicia, Amicia, you need to remember to bring him over first. Can we, can we crouch? And up and over. I'll... Once, there you go. Thank you. Once we get to a, a calmer section, I'll, I'll give my thoughts on Hugo because I'm, I'm concerned. I'm a little concerned. We can go now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if you all can stay where you are. Let you know when it's all right. Be very careful. Okay. Yeah, and I'm gonna just wait. I'm gonna just wait. Slow and steady wins the race. Get over. Go, go, go. And into the long grass. Okay. Okay. Now then, let me just. Okay, I'm still on them. I'm well. Mother and Hugo need time to get through. Yeah, I'm a just, I'm a just wait. I'm a just wait. Again, I'd, I'd rather take my time and do something once than fuck up multiple times. Oh God, whoops. There we go. What's over north? I need to call them now. Come on. Up and over. Up come and on. over. Come quickly. Come on. Mother, you need to hurry. You need to hurry. No, nothing to report. Well done. You're mine. This way. What was that? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Huh? I got greedy. I like to have my stuff all filled. Okay. Okay, just go. Just go. Gate. We should be able to get out of here. There's one guard left. The scarecrow. I used to practice firing at it. But he will come this way. Yes, but we can wait until he goes away again. All right. Leave this to me. Okay. Okay. So, back to rocks. Back. What was that noise? That's right. Come over here. But look at the scarecrow. Look at the pretty scarecrow. Go away. Get out of here. And now it's turned. Go, go, go. Ah, you're alive. This way. This way. Follow me. My darling, go and hide quickly now. Madame, they are Amicia, here. You have to take your brother to Laurentius. The doctor? Yes. He helped me treat Hugo. He will look after you. And what about you? You, you do have not to come. need me, Amicia. You are. But I do need you. I need you. Hurry now. Follow the river. It will lead you to Laurentius. Mother, no! Stop! They're 
spikes behind us. Jesus, Jesus. Must be further on. Someone there should be able to help us find the Rentius. Hugo. Hugo. Mummy won't be happy. When she finds out I fell in the water. Well, let's not mention it when we see her, all right? Come on, first we have to get dry. Oh, okay. Okay, I think, I think, I think we've got a quiet minute. Let's just... Let's just stand on the pier, you know, have a, have a nice, like this, this looks delightful. There's, oh, a branch, how lovely. Um, oh, flipping heck. <laughs> flipping heck. Okay, everything's already gone to shit. I, I wasn't sure how quickly, I wasn't sure how quickly the game would descend into utter chaos. It, it descended quickly. Um, oh, I, I, Bless Hugo. Bless Hugo. Oh, mummy will be mad when she finds out I fell in the water. I... I don't know how I feel about Amicia keeping Beatrice's death secret. I, I don't know how to feel about that because on one hand, he is a little boy. He's like, if, if we go off what Amicia said before, he's only around four or five. And we're in quite a nasty situation. We've been chased. The ground was exploding. <laughs> you know, father is dead. Mother is... Well, to be fair, we didn't see her die. We didn't technically see her die, but she's probably dead. Like, I... My, my worry... My worry... So, I, I'm aware the two main villains of this game are the rats and the French Inquisition. So, they're going to keep popping up. If they pop up in the future and are like, oh yeah, we murdered your man. He's going to feel so betrayed. He is going to feel so betrayed. Yes, he's small. Therefore, we have to tell him about mother's death in an age appropriate manner. That doesn't mean keeping it from him indefinitely. And I worry that at some point in the future, a member of the Inquisition is going to pop up and be like, oh yeah, she's dead. We killed her. We killed her ages ago. And he's going to be like, Amicia, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? Like, the only way they are going to survive is by being a little unit. And that will cause discord. That will cause disharmony. That will separate the unit. And, you know, together they can do things that alone they could not. Hugo has already come in handy. He can get through small gaps that Amicia simply can't get through. I'm, I'm deeply concerned about that. Um, Hugo's illness, I, they were there for Hugo. They were there for Hugo. They kept saying, oh, where is your son? Where is your son? Knight Darun. And oh, save the boy, kill the girl, save the boy. So the, the Inquisition is after Hugo. And really the only thing we know about Hugo is that he's sick. 
And I'm like, why would the Inquisition want a sick kid? Like, let's let's say Hugo has epilepsy. Why would the Inquisition want an epileptic? That doesn't really make much sense. So I'm... There, there are a couple of ways I could see this going, I think. Misha, oh. why did they want to capture us? I don't know. I don't want to think about it right now. We'll ask Laurentius to take us to see Mommy and Daddy. Yes. Of course. Oh, Amicia, Amicia, like, age-appropriate way. We can't do that. I'm very sorry. You don't have to give him the, the nitty-gritty details. Oh, yeah, Daddy was decapitated. You don't have to tell him any of that. But I just, I, I worry, I worry that in a later chapter, a member of the Inquisition is going to pop up and be like, yeah, they're dead. Lol. We killed your parents. And he's going to be upset that he wasn't told about it. Because he would have every right. Yes, he's little. That doesn't mean he, he should be treated as if he's dumb. He has a brain, I'm sure. But as I was saying, so this could be a political play. Like, oh, we have this Lord's child on our side. But the, the Inquisition is the Catholic Church. They're already in power. They don't need a political play. I'm wondering if his illness isn't an illness. I'm wondering if maybe he has visions or something and that's why the church wants him. Where is everyone? Oh, this, this looks like market day to me. All of the stalls are out. They've got stuff in them. So let's just, what's down here? Explore everywhere. The fact that there's no one about, that is... Oh, hello. Hello. An amulet. Oh, Mummy gave me one once. Me too. Someone must have lost it. I think we can take it. It could be useful. That way we'll be protected. Hmm. Uh, ba ba ba. Amulets and talismans. Faced with the violence of the plague, fear and superstition pushes commoners to obtain or make lucky charms. Unscrupulous artisans make money by selling rings and necklaces made of any material at high prices. These improbable trinkets, surrounded by superstition, are supposed to protect people from evil. Yeah, we picked up the table card. Yes. Hmm. Listen. Listen. I can't hear anyone talking. If this is, like, even if this is, like, a little village, then if it was a village, it wouldn't have these walls. That's, that's a keep. Wait. That's either a keep or a church. Based on the window. Now, I think it has a cross on the top. I think that's a church. Still, this, this is a town. This isn't some pissy little village. This is a town. And I can't hear anyone. Ah, uh, that's not a good sign. You should at least be able to hear chatter. Oh, Jesus Christ. The, no. No. This is... Okay, well, the animals are alive. That's good. That's good. But still, the fact that there's just rotten produce... Like, tools. Tools have been left out. That, that'll that cost a pretty penny. And they've just been left out. They're I really big. They won't hurt you. What are those noises? Are they sick? They're just clearing their noses. Come on, we have to go. Mm. Yeah, they're flying oh, about. Oh. Hugo, not now. But... Don't touch them. They're all rotten. But I'm hungry. How can you think of food right now? Well, he's... He's a little boy. He's a little boy. <laughs> to be fair, little girls also think of food all the time because they're growing. I... Oh... So many bad vibes. So, so many bad vibes. <laughs> smoke there must be a lot of people okay or is something on fire that's a and ask the question is is that a congregation of people or is a building on fire okay and oh no 
again, I feel like I have to explore everywhere. So every, every little, every little side street I'm going to attempt to go down. Excuse me, please wait, madam. What's the matter with them? They look scared. I, oh, what? Excuse me, I'm the daughter of Lord Robert Darun. We were attacked, we need help. Please, it's very cold. I'm... Mm -mm. But why would you run from children on sight? Anybody there? I'm with my little brother. The Darun estate was attacked. Hello? I'm begging you, you please help, help us. We're wet and hungry. What on earth is going on? I'd, okay, we've we've got multiple ways we can go. Is anyone there? We need help. No one is going to let us in. What's the matter with them? Oh, I'm. I'm wondering if maybe the Inquisition got here first. And you know, oh, we we're looking for the the son of Lord Darun. You know, if you see him, then oh, I don't believe it. They're hiding. Anyone there? There's nothing for you here. Clear off. What has got into you all? I don't like this place. Yeah, I'm. I'm wondering if maybe they've been fed some. Ooh. Is it soap? Don't touch it, Hugo. Leave it alone. Oh, well, I'm, I'll touch it. I'll touch it. As fear of the miasmas associated with the smell of the dead spreads, hygiene makes great advances along with the development of towns and villages. Rudimentary sewers start to appear and most villages have saunas, public baths, accessible to all. On a daily basis, everyone washes their hands before each meal and soap can be found in even the most modest buildings. Yeah, I'm I'm wondering if maybe they've been told horror stories. Like, oh, if you if you see the Lord's kid, you know, you need to get in contact with us, otherwise we're gonna mess you up. Oh, oh no. Oh look, someone's drawn something on the doors. Come back here. That means there are sick people in these houses. Don't touch anything. Oh, they're not allowed to go outside. It's more serious than that. It means that we could catch their illness, so stop running around. All right, sorry. Okay, plague, plague. We're random kids that have come in. Okay, that's that's a bit more likely. That's a bit more likely. I oh, God. there are so many places. There are so many places. There was we we could have gone not over the bridge. The I village is contaminated. That's why everyone's hiding. Okay, well, I can, I can, now I can hear people. I can smell something cooking. Is it a fair? It doesn't sound like a fair. Yeah, I... I'm like, do I want to go back? That's what I'm thinking. Do I want to go back? <laughs> to see what was back there. I... Oh, I want to go back and check everywhere. But I also want to see what's going on. of them what no wait we're just looking for someone and you found him it's your damn music what brought them out huh those dirty vermin that invaded our church that filth would attack our children in their beds and gave them the black thing but now you found conrad malfort and i'm telling you this is the last village you'll infect amicia come on Run! Run! Hugo. What's happening, Amicia? Just run! But why are they angry? Are they going to burn us too? Nope. I should have gone back and checked. I should have gone back. No. Nope. Hide, Amicia. Here, get inside quickly.
All is quiet. He's going to see us. Don't move. We have to wait, wait. until they show themselves. Then we'll get him. Uh, well. Well, I'm just about out of time for this episode. In the next one, can we get away from the mob? But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode. Can't you use something to make a noise?